All right, let's talk about Mike Evans, who is an upcoming free agent. Tampa Bay currently trying to re-sign him. Uh, and I figured it would be an interesting video to talk about what the value in re-signing someone like Mike Evans would be and how much money should they go out and pay him. So we're going to start off with the play you see on your screen. This is kind of the main thing that Mike Evans brings to the table for Tampa Bay uh, and why he is such a threat is this play against Detroit. We're going to use some footage from that playoff game. You see how the Lions are showing a two-safety deep coverage. However, it won't be. They're going to instead do that, which is one's going to... It's a robber concept. So one safety covers kind of over the middle more shallow, whereas the other one covers deep. So it's really one safety deep. Uh, that's the coverage itself. And what does this mean? This means that the sidelines, outside the numbers, there's typically a window to get the ball down the field, right? Because if there's two safeties deep, well, you can't really... You know, if you throw the ball down the field, it's going to be double coverage. Here, it would just be a one-on-one -on -one matchup. That is Mike Evans' route on this play. He is going to be running a deep shot, and this is just the kind of coverage you can't play against Tampa Bay, and you haven't been able to play against Tampa Bay in, you know, for the past decade because watch what Evans will do. As you see, Baker takes the snap. He's going to fire it in Evans' direction. And honestly, not even terrible coverage, but just really good stuff by uh, Mayfield and by Evans to get a big completion down the field. Nearly a touchdown. They would ultimately get a touchdown on that drive. So, you know, and that was a big play in that football game. This is the kind of thing that Evans brings to the table. And more often than not, some of his value isn't even just hitting on these plays, but it's how it can set stuff up for the rest of the unit. Like heading over here, to me, this is the exact thing that you look at when you're talking about Mike Evans. It's going to be a play that he has nothing to do with. So the concept itself, it's a single safety deep coverage. Okay, I just told you these are not great, you know, things you want to do, right? Well, it's a little different. For one thing, you're inside the red zone. Part of why Evans gets so many touchdowns is because... Down here, you're more likely to give a number one receiver a one-on-one -on -one matchup, which is how he can get some wins. But, this, you know, even forgetting about that, there's the other thing, which is, you know, you still don't want to leave Evans one-on-one -on -one if you can avoid it. And the Lions, despite a single safety deep, aren't exactly just having him cover over the middle of the field. Look at where the safety is on this play. I mean, he is very far towards the bottom of the screen. And it's not just because of Evans. Evans is right there. It's definitely something you have to pay attention to. But, you know, uh, it, it is worth mentioning that there's two other wide receivers, you know, in that area. The, the Buccaneers only have three receivers, you know, on this play. Uh, you know, they also have a tight end and a half back lined up to their right. But still, you see this happen a lot against Tampa Bay. You see safeties line up over Mike Evans a lot. And what it can do is it can clear up the entire other side of the field. On this one, watch how Tampa Bay is simply going to just flip the ball to Rashad White, who's going to end up getting a touchdown on that play. So that was definitely in part due to just the threat that, you know, uh, the other Tampa Bay receivers were bringing to the table there. And a big part of it is Evans. Evans is someone who, even if he's the only one lined up on that side of the field, sometimes you'll still see the safety shade, shaded over in that direction. Also, even on plays like this, where what's going to happen is this is a man coverage concept. So it's going to be a, you know, third down and two. two. And again, for Mike Evans, you, safety is typically going to be over top, right? So again, it's one safety deep, but the safety is definitely over towards Mike Evans' side of the field. So what they do is they'll, again, use him in other ways. How else can we get the ball into his hands? You see, that's the route he's running. He's the slot receiver on this play. And in fact, on a lot of third downs, they will have him become the slot receiver. He is someone who can do this. And again, because if teams are playing safety deep, uh, you know, two safeties deep or just one safety that's shading over him, well, don't have him run deep then. Have him win in other ways. And as you see, when Mayfield takes the snap, again, Evans is going to run this route really well. And you see right here, there is a window to make this throw. Don't get me wrong. I think Evans is at his best when he is running the deep routes down the field. But because of the threat that he can do that, it allows him to get open in other ways. Mayfield is going to hit Evans. They're able to pick up a completion. So this is the other aspect to his game and why if you're a team looking to go out and get Mike Evans or if you're Tampa Bay looking to keep Mike Evans, these are the things you know he can do is he's going to basically change how teams have to play him uh, for one thing because you can't just leave him one-on-one -on -one, and then he can still do enough to take advantage in other ways. That's actually, you know, uh, you talk about the Marshawn Lattimore sort of quote-unquote owning Mike Evans thing. A lot of times, though, it's not really the case at all. If you look at Evans' numbers against the New Orleans Saints, 
Uh, they're about the same whether Lattimore is out there or not. It's more so I think the Saints know how to play Evans. You put a safety over him all game, and Lattimore does, you know, uh, play very physical and so they put their most physical corner on him and try to just cover those underneath over the middle stuff but even when you do that it opens up other opportunities right it makes it easier for other players to win and the Saints usually just hope that they, that doesn't happen and that's their mindset against Tampa Bay as for a negative you know uh, the one negative you have to look at is going to be on this play where so it's a third down and 17 uh, you know only th- three man rush here you see Evans's route okay let's see how it goes well, Mayfield takes the snap. He's going to look in Evans' direction right here. And, you know, uh, it should be a completion. It's not going to get you a first down. But play the field position game, I suppose. Try to make it easier for your punter to pin them inside the five. That That's what you're going for right here. But this is something that just is a thing of Evans. Despite the fact that he'll make some of the most impressive catches you'll ever see, he'll also have these. The ball just bounces off his hands. That was a good throw, but it gets intercepted. And, you know, that is something that Evans will do that. He'll drop some passes. It it, it is what it is. So that is a negative that you're getting when you go out and, you know, add Evans to your roster. Let's look at Evans' pro football focus uh, page here for his free agency profile. You see always ranked pretty high. And again, Thing about Evans, model of consistency, right? We we know that he's for a decade now had a thousand yards in every season he's been in the league, and he's also still just thirty. Uh, kind of crazy because he entered the league so young. That's that's part of well, why all that works. I think a lot of people kind of push back on that stat sometimes and say, well, you know, a thousand yards isn't really what it used to be. That's more about like staying healthy and making sure you play as much as possible while still being a really good player. And my kind of point to that is exactly. He always stays healthy. He's going to be good for around a thousand snaps a season. Like he will have, I actually wouldn't even say he always stays healthy. He for sure typically will have the injuries. He just kind of plays through injuries a lot. You know, you can trust him to be out there for a while, which is there's definite value in all of that um, but yeah back to the page itself why I brought this up a uh, couple things to note uh, not just the fact that his PFF grades tend to be very good you look at his PFF war for a single player getting a war that good it actually almost feels on the low side uh, which you know still it, it's a good PFF war it is but the reason why that feels kind of low I think is that you know uh, there's going to be more value and this is the case of all players but it's going to be more value than just what that stat shows for you. Um, but even so, you see that his PFF war has graded top 17th in each of the past three seasons. So he's someone that PFF says an incredibly valuable player, and you're kind of consistently getting at least a top 20 wide receiver year after year after year. And that's not even factoring in how much value he brings with how teams just have to play him. There's a lot of other wide receivers who might put up similar numbers, but teams don't completely change their game plan the way that teams do completely change their game plan against Mike Evans. And you know, uh, so th- that's, I think, something you have to mention. The projected contract, they say, is three years, $23 million, And I'm going to be honest, Tampa Bay, if that's what it takes to keep him in the building, why have you not already made that? Why haven't you already made that uh, contract? You know, because that feels totally reasonable. I, I, I think he's looking for more. I think Evans might be looking for like $30 million a year. And I'm sure he's also just talking to people. Like, I think he wants to make sure that if he comes back, like Baker Mayfield comes back, he wants to make sure that he's not going to then be, you know, catching the ball from uh, Kyle Trask. But who knows? Maybe what he wants is, hey, let me go to Houston, which might be a better situation. They might have a better passing attack and they can try and win a Super Bowl that way. And he's from Texas. Like, like that makes sense. You know, maybe he's going to go to Kansas City uh, because they're winning Super Bowls every year. And certainly he'll get the opportunity to get his, you know, thousand yards uh, streak and keep that going, which I know uh, he definitely cares a lot about. But either way. Uh, if your favorite, you know, if if your favorite team needs a wide receiver, and even if they kind of don't, you probably would want Mike Evans to uh, join the roster because he still is very good. And if you can get him for a three-year deal, like he's, you know, going to be 33 by the time it's over, you'll feel okay about that. But yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.